First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate the tone of the paper compared to the tone of the shadow. Now, as I see it, they are very close, both in color and in value. Value, again, is mo more important. If I can find a hard pastel, and it's probably more in the gray side. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to actually use that. So you can see it's almost the same color as the paper. Just lightly kind of begin to lay in where the shadows are. This whole area is in shadow. If it looks a little lighter in the paper, don't worry about it. It is. I'm going to switch over to a soft because I can probably come up with a closer color. I have much more of an array, there we go, of colors to work with. I'm working with the pastels in a very free and loose fashion. Also, I'm going to start to notice a little bit of a coloration change and as the um, garment itself So we start to get a little bit of, of flavor of color movement. We need to we can do this. So it fuzzes a little bit more. This is a real building process. So a lot of times when I use it, once I pull a color out, I'll set it down in my tray here so that I can actually go back and use that color again and I don't have to hunt for it, particularly when you've got about 100 colors in front of you to choose from. It has a little bit of a violet. First thing you're going to do is you're going to assess the colors you have, and you want similar values initially. It's a little on the dark side, but it's okay. That's warmer, that's greener, so I don't have quite the violet. That's okay, we'll pull it off, that's, that's not bad. The nice thing about working with um, this tone of paper is I can actually let this tone of paper come through here and there and it'll actually work for me. So I see these warm folds so I try, it, to me, what warms and cools do to a, to a drawing such as this is they add, com, they take it out of just being a, a rendition that is pretty much done in, uh, in charcoal. For example, the face is deep and it's pretty rich. So I'm going to probably start with a color like this, which most people will probably think, well, that's way too dark for flesh. But in essence, that's kind of what we see. And I'm pushing this first layer into the paper. And that's what you see me doing here. You see me basically forcing it down into the divots of the paper. So now that basically has got a pretty firm, nice dark in there. And I'll leave that alone for a little bit. <laughs>